segment. It is goes all right or doesn't. We're going to throw three different topics, very random topics at you, and we just need to know whether you reckon they go all right or whether they don't. Right. Are you prepared? Yeah, ready to go. <laughs> all right, the first one, this is sent in by Connor. Uh, yeah, bye, mate. <laughs> he said, olives, goes all right or doesn't? I reckon it goes all right. Um, really? Really young, I, I didn't like them, um, but... The Motlops are pretty well known for loving olives and <laughs> it, was pretty, it was bound to happen. So um, they grew on me and now I'm loving them. I, was, I could have sworn you were the Motlops were infamous for their footballing ability. Oh, they, Not they, so much known for their olive sort of fascination. <laughs> no, that one's news to me. They like their footy as well. That's true. Yeah, there you go. I thought, so you're, you're still 18, aren't you, Jesse? Yep. I thought olives were a real acquired taste. I'm 24 mm. and I'm only starting to force myself mm. to enjoy them. So years, years above your own age. Uh, in the palate department and on field as well. Where do you sit with olives, Roddy? Nah, they're still, I'm forcing them, but I'm oh. not enjoying them, so they don't. They don't go right. See, I'm sort of stuck in the middle where I order them on my vegetarian Malcolm. pizza and only pick off a handful. There's a couple that I actually don't mind that get through to the keeper. Yep. So I'm sort yeah. of, I'm coming around to olives. Uh, well, on, we're on this journey together and with the Motlop tutelage, hopefully one day we'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll be get enjoying around olives. Uh, well, speaking of pizza, the next one is eating pizza cold. Goes all right or doesn't? Well, I think there's certain times for it, but um, I feel definitely have to heat the pizza up every yeah. now and then, so it probably doesn't. Um, but I feel like if you're pretty desperate and you've got to go somewhere, <laughs> you're, cold. you're on the run. Yeah, It probably makes enough sense, doesn't it? I'm a big um, put it in the oven, man, to reheat it, or the uh, the air fryer, which is all the rage oh, that's at the great moment. Call. So not so much a microwave. Yeah, yeah microwave goes a bit Make soft. And, yeah, and true. Yeah, well, I, I don't understand. There's some people out there that sort of really fight for the uh, the cold pizza in the morning. Like, oh, cold mm. pizza in the morning is, is better than... It, it's just not. No. It's just not better. Otherwise, um, when you get it delivered, you just get it cold. Like, why do yeah, you why? enjoy it hot when you pay for it <laughs> yeah. and then prefer it cold the next day? <laughs> yeah. A bit unusual. Nah, yeah, there's some yeah, interesting yeah. cats out there. Cold pizza for me uh, doesn't go all right. And the last one before we get into the chat is wet weather footy, Jesse. Goes all right. Goes all right? Always goes all right. You love it? Love wet weather footy. It's always good for the small forwards, but... Same time, you can't beat a beautiful day on, on the G. It's always fun. So, mm. um, But definitely wet weather footy is, is good to play in. Rog, how do you go in the twos, ban your wet weather footy? Well, the beautiful thing about wet weather footy is that it brings everyone down to my level skill-wise yeah. <laughs> and then it just comes down to toughness, of which I don't have either. So <laughs> still it doesn't advantage me too much, but at least everyone else is about as uh, disposal as I. Back in the Torquay days, I loved a wet weather game. I, like I was just the smallest on the field. Forward yep. pocket, back pocket. I feel like, yeah, wet weather footy. The heavens have opened up here at the MCG. 